Today I want to do an experiment for you called the carbon dioxide rainbow. This has always been one of my favorite experiments because it shows us how we can learn about things we can't see. Now carbon dioxide is one of the gases that's in the air around us. As you breathe in oxygen, you breathe out carbon dioxide, but it's colorless, it's odorless, it's tasteless. So how do we know it's there and how can we study it? So what I've got is I've got four candles burning in this chamber here. Now this is just a plastic um, container, kind of like an aquarium. And then over here I have some dry ice. Now dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide can be a solid if it's really, really cold. This is at about 80 degrees below zero Celsius. And so that's warming up, and as it warms up, the carbon dioxide becomes a gas, and it's filling this little Tupperware container over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take that carbon dioxide gas, and I'm going to pour it into this chamber. Now, interestingly, the candles are also producing carbon dioxide. However, they're producing carbon dioxide that's very hot. It's about 300 degrees Celsius. And so that carbon dioxide that's so hot, the molecules inside it are moving very, very quickly. And so they take up more space. So the same number of particles in a larger space means they're less dense. Air around us has a density about 1.2 grams per milliliter. The carbon dioxide that's coming off of the candle is about 0.79 grams per milliliter. So it's less dense. Things that are less dense float. And so the carbon dioxide that's hot is essentially floating out of here. This carbon dioxide, however, the cold carbon dioxide, has a density of about 2.7, so almost twice that of air. So it's much denser than air. So it tends to go down. So let's go ahead and try this demo. So I'm going to take my carbon dioxide. I'm going to take this. And if you look carefully, um, and I'll do this again zoomed in very close, but it doesn't look like I'm doing much of anything. But I can pour. Oh, there went one candle. And then as it fills up, we should hopefully start to see the other candle start to go out. Start to go out. It's been a little slow today. All right, there's the next one. Now remember that for something to burn, you need three things. You need a fuel. Oh, there we go. You need a spark, and you need oxygen. Now the fuel is the wax of the candle. The spark was the lighter that I used to start this. But then it needed oxygen to be able to burn. I have now filled this chamber up with carbon dioxide, but I can't see it because it's colorless and odorless. I know it has to be there, though, because each of these candles went out. And so I removed the oxygen. I had to remove it with something. I removed it with carbon dioxide. And as a result, the candles went out. And you saw that it was dense. It's heavy. It filled up from the bottom to the top. Now, one of the other nice things about this is this tells you why, if you're ever in a room where there's a fire, why you're supposed to crawl on the floor. The first thing is, never be in a room with a fire. But if you are, the hot gas, the ones that are really, really hot, 300 degrees, and would burn your lungs and you, all move towards the ceiling. We say that heat rises, it's not quite true. Hot gases rise, and so those all move towards the ceiling, and they take the smoke with them and things like that but the cooler oxygen gets pushed down towards the bottom. So the air that won't burn you and the air that has the oxygen that you need to breathe is all gonna be in the bottom of the room. And so that's what works there. Uh, it's also why fire extinguishers work. Fire extinguishers have carbon dioxide in them and so they remove the oxygen and so it can't burn you. So just kind of a nice demonstration for something that we can't see but we know has to be there because something had to have put those candles out. So I'll go ahead and show you again at the end of this clip. There'll be one more up close, and I hope you enjoy it. this demo as much as I do. I'm going to repeat the demo again. I filled this up with oxygen in the, in the chamber with regular air, and I'm going to pour the carbon dioxide. So once again, it doesn't look like I'm doing anything, but there goes the first candle. And here comes oh, almost the next one. Candle three and candle four, all pouring out there. All right, I'm gonna do the demo for you one last time. I wanted to turn the lights out a little bit so you can definitely see the candles. And so this should be a little more obvious as each of these candles go out. So once again, I'm pouring the gas, the cold 
carbon dioxide gas. There's our first candle, third, and there goes the fourth one. All right. 